I think we're good. Can we get to this some um, division two today? Nah, I'm just kidding. Probably not. This game's wicked long, so I think we're fine. Region, where's this mission we gotta go on? All the way out here. All right, so fast travel to Cascadia. Oh, that's not a good sound. It sounds like a pretty bad sound. All right, so now we gotta go over here. I'm just pretty framey right now. I don't know what's going on. Okay, this is where we gotta go. Oh, more of these guys, huh? Dude, <laughs> drop kicks a mech. Sniper in the back, huh? Woo! Absolutely handled. All right. Doing all right. All right. We're uh, we dropped one guy, two guys over here. Break that down. We don't need that. Break down. Oh, this might hurt. Oh, all right. All right. Where's this? This one's over here. And we're good. Thing like frozen place. Should be over here. We're gonna fight the queen. The queen. Am I in the right spot? Yeah. Then after this, I think I'm done with Monarch. And not much, not much of this stuff is too great. All right, let's see what we got to do here. I don't know, are you? <laughs> well, let's go. Mantis or hive. Oh, this is gonna be good. Gyro sites? Nice. All the goods. Including the shovel. No, we don't need the shovel. Don't need the shovel. Take the ammo though. Drone, drone. How much ammo I got on heavy? That's eh, not good. Use the pistol here. That'll be alright. Clear out the old base. Yeah, I think we're gonna have a big problem. <laughs> Leave the explosive device. Metal, we can give that to her, right? I think. More ammo. Yeah, we'll open it up. Wait. It's not really. Whatever. I'll open it. There's really not much that good in, in there, but it's all good. Candy bars. Take one of these. Take one of these. Take one of these. Take one of those. Does she need to talk to me about anything? Probably not. Make sure we got enough room to run around. 
We got the uh, search hive remnants. Remains for her friends. We did that. All right, where's this queen at? The way I came in, right? Maybe not. What plasma cutter? Gold. On the wrist. Don't need that though. Uh, I don't think I checked this place out. Look at this guy. Nothing. Okay. All right. So we got to make our way through. That's nasty. We're here. All right. Well, where am I supposed to go here? Are we supposed to bait it in? Yeah, what you gotta say, let's say. What's up? I don't know. Let's I don't need her stories. I need to know what to do. Yeah, what are we supposed to do in here? Now it's telling me to go outside. This is a great quest. <laughs> this is a good one. Okay, let's see. What do we gotta do? We got all her companions, um, medallions. No, that's not what we're doing. We're doing Star Crush. Uh, inspect the Mantisaur feeding ground. Oh, to my right. Of course. Well, this is the spot. All right. You know, I thought I'd be angry. I thought I'd storm in here in a rage and exterminate all these bugs and everything would be all right in the end. But I ain't. I'm mostly just empty. A little sad, maybe. The first night Hayes and I spent in here, we knew it was home. It's safe. It's got a nice chill to it. But mostly, it doesn't stink of sulfur. Monarch folks often joke about it. Not because of the smell or the grittiness it leaves in your throat. Not because of the headaches or the coughing. It's because there's no escaping it. It's life here. And there ain't anything you can do about it. But here, somehow the sulfur never made it. The nights we spent in here felt like vacations. So we started building. Hmm. Anyway. This... We hauled in steel. Hired sublight folk to help. That's how we met Anders and Opal. They stuck around after our contract was up. Opal like camping. Anders like chasing her tail. Four of us for a while, scraping together what bits we could to build our home. Then came Rebecca, a sawbones out of the Cascadia survivors, who took a kindness to Hayes. And Clara, her little sister. I'll admit I wasn't keen on taking her on at first, but for a teenager, she was surprisingly capable. In the monarch wilder Believe wilderness? Me, I can't speak I today. Evan. She had a head for numbers, <sighs> helped us trade hides for food and materials, negotiated contracts, turned out to be mighty useful. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, and me. Six folks, one name, one family, Charon. Despite Monarch trying oh, to kill the us day in yeah. and day out, we managed to belong. So the queen get in here. There aren't here, uh... Wait, I'm sorry, they aren't here to see us kick some mantis ass. Let's do this, yeah. They come. <laughs> <laughs> I see it coming, uh, coming over there from the distance. Are they down already? Shocker. Oh, 
Oh, that thing's nimble. Yeah, we're okay. Doing fine. I don't know if I want to be on that side, though. Oh, you're still alive. How much ammo? We gotta do this uh, a little bit better. Whoa! Yeah, let's go back over here. I don't like how she just has random angles where she's not actually animated. It just shoots. And now I'm not doing any damage there. I've also been on fire for about four years. That would help if I maybe wasn't and there was actually a debuff on this. Kind of frustrating after a while. Is there a reason my weapons are only doing 10 damage? Heal's not working. Heal's still not working. And I'm dead. There's, you're not telling me anything, game. You're just saying like you're dying faster from healing. There's like no, <laughs> there's no information. I'm not getting any information on this. Well, Whatever. This is the spot. You know, I thought I'd be angry. I thought I'd. Monarch folks. Are... Kind of irritated. I have to go through this whole dialogue. We and. More like a tap. She. Okay. Here they come. And I'm irritated that they all got clipped right off the rip. I don't get how they like. Felix almost dies instantly. I gotta really dodge those. Dude, she takes no damage. What the hell? Okay, so double defensive, whatever that means. I'm not advanced enough in this game. I don't know what that means. Come on, man. That really hit me. <sighs> this, um, is. Oh, so ready to go through a minute dialogue again. Oh. 
Okay. Really looking forward to this. Well, this is the spot. You know, I thought I'd be angry, but... We're gonna just skip this. Like, can I hold to skip this and just go to the next thing? Monarch folk. We hold them... More like... Yep. Let's get these bugs out of here. Let's do this. Let's... Can I save at this point or no? I don't know if it'll work, we'll see. I am a Never seen him die so fast, it's crazy. It's not about the difficulty either. Oh, here we go. It's afraid. Half health. Back up from that. Thankfully, I didn't get hit by that because that hurts. Yep, no, hard pass. It's pretty damn accurate. Damn, like every time she's getting these clutch positions. I hate that <laughs> so much. Maybe I gotta put her on a different rotation. Maybe I gotta go the other way so I can actually shoot these barrels. So when I heal, it automatically screws me. And it just stays on, which is kind of weird. <laughs> okay. That's a little much game, but sure. Not good. Not good. Not good. <sighs> Can't heal it. If I heal it, I die. What is the deal with this boss? actually doesn't add up like your your friends who are useless apparently I hate to say that but like they don't seem to be doing much too good much too good no they just don't do well just die instantly like I don't understand what the hell's going on not even a weakness thing she just she D's up and then It's not impossible, it's just really frustrating. It's like your your damage just degrades over time. And I gotta sit there and listen. Every time I die, I gotta listen to a five minute monologue. <sighs> I don't think it's gonna matter how much armor I put on these guys. They just get annihilated. Wish, it's kind of weird that they make you restart it like this every time. Well, this is the spot. But the first night, he's and I spent it. Monarch, it's because there's no escaping it. 
It's like the heat. We hold in. All right, this is kind of more. Get through this. I mean, she almost dies, but then she D's up so heavily. They're all dead yet? Nope. She's down already? Are you kidding me? Just gonna pepper her as much as I can. Just pressure the hell out of her. Pressure was the trick to that fight. Got it. Shock cannon ultra. Ooh. All right. Do you have anything to say? Now we're good. You're just not even gonna address this. There, there we go. Suspicious circumstances as well. At least we're all here. Mm -hmm. This. You were on the ground, but yeah. <laughs> this is the kind of thing Hayes would have done. That makes it stupid. By all accounts, we should have left well enough alone, but that also makes it right. Captain, thank you. You're welcome. You mind if we rest a spell before we head out? I'd, I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before I lay everyone's medallions to rest. Okay. Leave the medallions here. I suppose that's wise. Go ahead, of course. Although I think you should hold on to the medallions. What? Why? Those painful memories, Captain. Huh. That's... That ain't a bad point. All right, Captain. Thanks. I don't know if we chose right or wrong. Oh, well. Are we good? Or do I need to sleep? I guess we'll sleep again. Except... We're good? You know, I've been assuming this entire stay on your ship thing isn't a permanent arrangement. Part of my contract? Mm hmm That said, you ain't been eaten or shot to death yet. Okay. It says a lot about the stability of your future. And to be honest, I'm about sick of sleeping on bar stools. So how's about this? You keep letting me stay on that ship of yours, and I'll keep shooting at the things you point at. Sounds good. Outstanding. Cool. Get out of here. What are these? Uh, yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> On to the next planet. Where's our ship at? Cascadia or I think we were in Stellar Bay, right? On to Phineas's place. Some crew members are causing a disturbance. Well, they're just going to keep causing that disturbance then, I guess. Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. Cool. Oh, he's on an asteroid. Or, I don't know what exactly. <clears throat> Hello? Yeah, where is he? Can you hear me? Yep. Does this work? Oh, damn it. Blast, that's loud. All right. <laughs> I thought he was going to say something, but... I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Uh-huh. I see you, Father. 
on my portable molecular Who's got one of those things there? Better known as a shrink ray. Find the target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink down into a manageable size, whereupon you may commence feeding them to a pulp. Feel free to try it on a marauder sometime. Yeah, I think I might do that actually. Hang on. Where's the shrink ray at? Why don't we just pick that up? Oh, this one's... this one's... Okay, yeah, does he have anything else to say, or is that it? You, I'd clap you on the shoulder if I went behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how <laughs> okay. I did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. I think we already did that. Just tell me what to do, yeah. Why not? Damn it. What if I shrink all of them? She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Ooh. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. Anything I should know? Uh, actually, there's something else I want to talk to you about. Warning label. Of course, of course. Let's see what else we got to ask him. What's on your mind? Uh, there's some reason you're hiding in behind bulletproof glass. Yeah. Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. <laughs> Expected is to okay. be treasured, but uh, from a safe distance. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. <laughs> it's got the important stuff, okay. Absolutely. Let's talk. Um, don't you ever leave your lab, yeah. Oh, goodness, no. I wouldn't survive ten seconds in the blackness of the Aether. Well, no, I imagine I'd last at least twelve seconds before I'd lose consciousness and die of hypoxia. That's not what I meant. You have some kind of life outside your work. Life outside work? No, of course not. My life is my work. For that matter, everyone else's lives are also my work. An entire colony's worth of lives are at stake. It's up to me, uh, up to us, to set things right. To answer your question, I'd rather stay right here in my lab. There's too much work to be done. The Hope's colonists won't revive themselves, you know. Why are you obsessed with re uh, reviving Hope's colonist? Must be hard to leave your lab with a bounty on your head. How's that coming along, by the way? Yes, yes, that troublesome bounty on my head. I've been a fugitive ever since the board caught wind of my research. My work is my life. The board can put a price on my head, but they can't scare me into stopping my research. Why are you so obsessed with reviving Hope colonists? Because Yeah, but you revive me, so you must uh, must have solved the problem. 